everybody, I'm Delene and I'd like to welcome you all to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a green bean casserole. And our ingredients that we need today are I have well, I have a pack of uh, butter crackers, buttery, and whoops, I have five cans of green beans, just regular green beans. Whoops. And two cans of uh, cream of mushroom soup. And I said five cans of the green beans. And uh, uh, mushrooms, pieces, and stems. I have minced garlic. And I have some spices garlic salt, paprika, parsley flakes. And then I have some milk my salt and pepper, a little bit of butter, one onion, and I have a pack of cream cheese. And that will be it. Alright, so we'll get busy. There's so many different casseroles with green beans. A lot of them are similar and a lot of times people will change them up a little bit and do them different ways. And uh, that's why there's so many. <laughs> but this one is really, it's really good. It's really simple. I like it. It's my quick, really good green bean casserole and my family and I really like it so well, let me go ahead and get all these rest of these cans opened so I got my cans all opened up now I'm going to, I'm going to drain them all out get out as much as you can get Juice. We don't need any of that juice. I just keep the lid on it and tilt it over. It's a lot of liquid. Sure is. Okay. I want to try to get out as much of that juice as I can. It's okay to have a little bit, but I want most of it out. I just hold the lid up in it and kind of squish it up in it. And get out as much of that as I can get out. And it's going to help. There are so many different ways of cooking green beans. You know, boiling them, baking them, casseroling them. <laughs> and I'll be trying to do a, several different ways that I can think of. 
that are really good. But this is my one of my main go-to casserole dishes. Especially if I have a lot of people over or something. Sometimes you see some little stems or something you want to take off. Sometimes. I like frozen green beans, but to do the real quick um, casseroles like this, it's easy to use, just use the cans. And a lot of times the cans really are pretty good. Okay, I don't see any more. I had one. Okay, I have my uh, cream of mushroom soup here. Uh, this one had the, the pole lids. They're handy. Handy. these in here and heat them up in the microwave real quick. It just makes them easier. These are my mushroom soups. Ooh. Inside the can there. That was weird. And I'm going to put some butter into my soup. I want that one. Oops. One and I think one and a half, one and a half tablespoons of butter. I'm going to make it two. Two tablespoons of butter. Okay. So there's, oops, two. That's two. <laughs> two tablespoons of butter. And my soup. And I'm gonna go stick it in the microwave real quick. I just went ahead and put it in for four minutes. I put it in for four minutes, but my microwave is not that powerful. So, that'd be enough to make it good and soft. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put some salt and pepper. I've just poured my salt and pepper in. That's the way to do. And uh, these, I'll try to tell you about how much I'm putting in my other spices. I do put a good bit of salt and pepper though. I like salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And let me get my onions cut up. Put them in there. One 
good size onion. salt and you can do that use onion salt I have garlic salt you can use garlic if you like I just decided to do the garlic salt today and uh, garlic salt and the minced garlic <laughs> I'll be using a little bit of both I didn't want to cut one up today. I use a lot of garlic and a lot of things. But in my beans like this, I don't mind using the little jar one or the uh, soft one. Okay, I told you that was a good size onion. Good size onion. Go ahead and put, not that one, put a little bitty bit of par paprika, just a little bit in here. And if I was measuring it, it'd be about a teaspoon, no, not that much, about a half a teaspoon, I think. Same thing with the garlic. tablespoon of garlic for garlic if you don't like garlic don't put it in there <laughs> I put a lot my family and I eat garlic we found out garlic was really healthy for us and so now we eat a good bit of it okay Shrooms. 
slice them in half in little pieces. I just don't like them real big. Whew. So I'll get that done. Most of them are kind of small. Sometimes I'll get cans that have real big pieces of mushrooms and I don't like I just don't like them big. I do like mushrooms but not real big. If you have fresh mushrooms, you can use fresh mushrooms. They'd be wonderful for this. I just never seem to have fresh mushrooms on hand. I just don't. So I keep these little cans. That way I always have them handy. And I use them for a lot of stuff. I put them in a lot of things. <laughs> I hope you guys like this. I really do. It's always good to try different recipes. There's so many, like I say, so many with green beans. Everybody has their own versions. And, uh, but this one is very similar to a lot of them out there. But I like it. I like it. And if y'all don't have some green bean casserole recipes that you have tried, then maybe you'll like this. Okay, I think I got all the big ones. I just don't like them very big. I don't like them too big. There we go. Now I'm going to put them in this soup mix. This canned soup. Just go ahead and put them in here. about half of this. Maybe one third. I'll use I'll use half. Make it easier. About half of this cream cheese. So this is a uh, it would be four ounces. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. stick it in the microwave for just a minute. Just enough to soften it. Um, 15. Start. 15. <laughs> About 15 seconds. I hope that works. And my bowl is too little. It's just too little for all of this. I've got my 
spices all in here, my onions, uh, my garlic. So yeah, it's got some good smells already. gravy my bean my uh my mushroom soup mix <laughs> cans my mushrooms and my mushroom soup my cream cheese and since that soup is also warmed up already then my cream cheese is going to melt or, you know, mix into it better. When I use, doing all this, I don't use a blender and I don't use a whisk or anything. I just kind of put it all together real quick. And that's why I say this is one of my quick my nice quick meals. My cream cheese is doing pretty good because this is warm. It's hot. So the cream cheese is finishing melting into the mushroom soup. Okay, I'm going to turn my oven on. Um... It turned on to 350, actually 375. Would that be better? Okay. Right. 350. 375. Start. That'd be good. I think that'd be good. This is really, really creamy now. It's still hot. That is really good and creamy. That cream cheese all mixed into that, that mushroom soup. And then I do have the chunk mushrooms there too that you see. All the mushrooms. <laughs> but yeah, the cream cheese melted beautifully in there. Oh, my milk. tablespoons of milk. I don't think my bowl would have held any more anyway. it easier to get everything mixed up real good in this bowl and then add it onto that one like that I have all my all my uh, spices and all in that one but get all my creamy stuff here that works better all right I'm gonna start pulling it in I'm gonna do about half at a time
don't want my green beans to turn to mush. So, <laughs> I'm taking my time there with it. Yeah. I'm just making sure I, I'm kind of folding them. And not only just stirring, because that would tear them all up, tear all my beans up. I don't want my beans mushy or broken all up. So I'm just kind of like getting under it and folding it up. And it's getting all in there, so that's good. That's what we want. See? Uh, it's too heavy <laughs> to do that. To hold it. Okay. Now since I got all that cream cheese and everything blended into it, see how that was that was a lot easier getting it into here because it's already mixed in. So that worked for me. Okay, I think that's good. Here's running out. But the only spray that I can really handle to breathe is the olive oil spray. I can't handle the other ones. I, I can't breathe I them. Okay, so now we've got our crackers to do. Oops, come on. They're butter crackers, kind of like Ritz, but I just get the butter crackers, they're just as good. And I have there it is, a baggie, good strong freezer bag, or any bag will work. But I'm going to put at least half of this little bag. Now when I say a little bag, these bags are a little smaller than a Ritz bag. Just a little bit, I think about like that much. But this little off brand, it works perfect. And how much do I want? I said half, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some more. Three more. I'll see if it works. I seal it up in it. And then sealed. I got most of the air out of it. And I take another can and I, I have to take it over here. If I do it over here, it bounces my camera. So I bring it over here and then I just kind of swoosh them up. I use the can. See all that noise? <laughs> Shaking my uh, toaster oven. If you have your rolling pin, you can use it that way, but this is easier to me. Good bit, and I think it might be enough, hopefully. But they're just little, it's little, not some of them are super little, others a little or a little bit bigger chunk of cracker. So, did my pans ready? I'm gonna go ahead and put my beans in now. See, uh, look at that, they're great, they're great. Poor man. Oh, they're going to be so good. They are going to be so good. I love them like this.
I'm getting quite a bit out of doing that. I really don't want to waste it, so I'm getting it on out. Takes me a second longer here. There are so many people that like green beans cooked like this, or at least similar to this, and it's because it's just so good. They're just so good. All the different varieties of beans. And a lot of them are very, very similar in their recipes. Your, your 9 by 13 or 11 by 11 to 13 yeah it's 13 uh, long that's my big one and that <laughs> these beans will be gone so quick everything I cook it just disappears disappears I'm just gonna sprinkle this on let me get that over here might be better. So I'm going to put my crackers on it that I did. I'm just going to kind of put them all over it. like a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and crunch these others up. I got a little bit of it. I still got this bit left. And back out <laughs> so I can squish it again. Squish the rest of this. I'll be right with y'all. Okay y'all. The rest of that squished the rest of my cracker crumbs this coating on top is really nice it just gives it that much another layer of a great taste it has so many different flavors and so many dishes and I just I really like doing this I do this on a lot of my dishes and you'll see that on a lot of my casseroles but I do this I put this on there I thought I was done, but I can use it all on edges. There we go. As, as, I, as it cooks, part of it's going to get into that soupy part and get softer, and then the top part's going to be crunchy. So that's going to be great. Okay, now... I'm going to put a little bitty bit sprinkle a little bit of my garlic on it. Not a lot. I just want a little bit of it on it. 
and then some parsley. Actually, I do this one first. My uh, paprika. I'm just going to put a teeny bit. I don't want to put too much of that one for at all. That's good. That was just a teeny bit. Now my parsley. Just a little bit. I don't need much of this one either. I just put a little bit on it. I don't always put parsley or the uh, I don't always put these on top. So that's really up to y'all if y'all choose to or not, okay? I don't always do that. I just decided to this time. There you go. And it's ready to go into the oven. Alrighty. It looks good, don't it? <laughs> Yay! Okay, y'all. So this is ready to go in the oven now. I have the oven set at 375 that was to get it really hot now I'm going to turn it down to 350 okay I'm putting it in I'm gonna turn it down 350 and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, cook it for about 25 30 minutes and kind of look at it to see how it's doing I don't want the top to get too dark so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down uh, well, I'll get it in first and then I'll turn it down because the heat changes. I'm putting it right in the middle rack. Oh, and it's hot. Okay. Whew. Give it a second. So, I'm going to put it on 350 now. Off. Okay. 350. Start. Okay. 350 degrees. See, the temperature goes down when you put stuff in the oven, when you open it. So that's why I had it on 375 to get it warm. But it's on 350 now, and it's already at 350 still. Um, timer, 350, uh, time 30 minutes. <laughs> 25. I'll check it at 25. Okay, I'm just going to check it at 25. So, yeah. I'll be back in a little while. Okay. Hot bumpers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. For 40 minutes 40 to 45 I think it's 40 minutes and I think this is good it looks great it's not too dark on top and the insides bubbling hot <laughs> and um, yeah it's gonna, be, it's gonna be good it's got to sit for a little bit and uh, you know just like pies and stuff they got to set kind of like lasagna you know they got to sit sit still and Soak it in. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. That's nice. <laughs> okay, turn my oven off. There we go. Alright. Alright. Put the light on. Turn the light off. Okay, y'all, this is going to be wonderful. Yeah, gotta let that sit. And I'll let you know how good it is. Alright, yeah, I'm going to let it sit for a good, uh, a good little while and cool off. Cool off. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, yeah, so my green bean casserole's done. I guess I'll call it a mushroom green bean casserole. 
since it has mushrooms all in it. <laughs> but anyway, it's cooled off. I'm going to get me some. Yeah. It looks good, don't it? <laughs> Yay! Yay! Another good dish. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get me a little bit. And it looks good. It browned on top, real pretty. I'm just gonna get a little bit, so I'll be having some with my family later. But I got this all done. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, I forgot to get my fork. <laughs> it's all creamy and moist and everything in there. It looks good. My crust did perfect. Okay. Our Father in Heaven, I want to thank you for helping me create another good dish. Thank you, Father, for blessing me and protecting me and guiding me. Thank you for taking good care of my family and my viewers and friends and all my loved ones, Father. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for guiding us. Father, I ask you to bless this and help it to nourish my, my body and anybody else that eats it as well. And Father, thank you for your son. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your guidance. And for your protection. Thank you for everything. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. All right. All right. That's a nice casserole. A nice little casserole. I wonder if y'all can see it up close. Sometimes my camera doesn't want to focus up close. So I'm hoping y'all can see it. Yay. I like creamy. It's creamy inside. And it's not just another chicken dish or something. This is this is good. Mmm. Wow. The onions in it, oh then it was crunchy. Oh man, this thing has some flavor. <laughs> this has some good flavor. Oh my goodness. Oh, and if you don't like mushrooms, Valerie, <laughs> if you don't like mushrooms, you don't even know. This is just so good. But you don't have to put, put mushrooms in them. You don't have to have mushrooms in them if you don't like them. But the, uh, I do have that cream of mushroom soup in it though. But man, with the cream cheese and this crackers. Mm. I make so many different dishes and they're all similar and they're all so different as well. It tastes so different. So good. It's amazing. Enjoy making all these good meals. So is my family. <laughs> they like it. They like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now on this dish, I had decided not to put no uh, 
no cheese or anything because I put cheese on so many different things other casseroles that I make but this one the crust on top just being those cracker crumbs sprinkled on top is perfect for this dish because it has all the creaminess in it and the different flavors and the cracker crumbs left just like that without anything else just the crumbs and some spices on top is perfect for this it is so good and it did like part of it got moist underneath and then the top part is crunchier but not hard and I baked that I think it was 40 minutes on 350 it was this is good but I did let it sit and cool. Mine's cooled way down. Mm. Oh, that's nice. This is a perfect family get together. <laughs> it's perfect for dinner period anytime. But yeah, if you have a big get together, a lot of people like to make a big old casserole when you have get togethers. This one's a little bit different. Yeah. I like it. Mm. I have had them. Have several. And all of them are good. All of the green bean casseroles are really good. Uh, this one is, is different. It's good. It's good. <laughs> mm. If you like mushrooms, you're going to love this. And if you don't like mushrooms, you may like it anyway. Just leave your mushrooms out. There's so many different ways of making green bean casseroles. Mm. Oh, that's so good. I almost hate to call it marsh... Um, mushroom green bean casserole because people will be turned off some people will be turned off by the mushroom when it it's not an overwhelming mushroom taste it's very mild creamy it's good it's worth trying one time even if you don't like mushrooms Mm. Wow, I mean it really is. It really is. Even if you don't like mushrooms, you need to try this one time. You might change your mind on a little bit there. <laughs> Just, it's good. This turned out really good. I hope y'all try it. Mm. Mm-hmm. That is great. That is so good. <laughs> Creamy, crunchy. A little bit of everything. Man. I can't wait till some of my family members try it in other states and tell me how much they like it. Mmm. <laughs> So now you guys can make it. Y'all can all make it yourself now. <clears throat> y'all watch how I make it. That's part of why I teach the way that I do. So that y'all can turn right around and make it yourselves. And you can. You sure can. And it's easy. It's not hard. That was really easy. So y'all let me know what you think. Let me know if you try it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And to give me a, leave me a comment. Tell me that you tried it. Tell me if you changed it or something. I just love hearing from y'all and knowing that you watch the video, the whole thing, and that you try to make some of the, the dishes. I mean, that just means the world to me to, um, to know that y'all watch the videos. 
and that you watch them all the way through. <laughs> that means a lot, because a lot of people don't watch them all the way through. And really, they miss out, because I do try to give everybody a lot of good information and teach you different things and give you little hints and secrets here, here and there. And uh, I hope that my videos help people. And uh, yeah, I hope you like my recipes. But yeah, let me know. Leave some comments. Tell me, tell me if you tried it. And yeah, thank you so very, very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot. Subscribe. You just make your make your a uh, YouTube channel, a YouTube account. And then you can subscribe and leave comments. So, I appreciate y'all for watching. And uh, it means an awful lot to me. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe. <laughs> thank you. So, as always, bye.